Uh oh. So here I am leaning against a tree and my ridge line won't make it around. Now what am I gonna do? Camping trip's over. <laughs> But hold on, hold on, not so fast. Um, there's a really easy way to fix this. You don't have to move your shelter. You can really simply grab a second ridge line. And I'm gonna show you right now what I do personally if the tree's a little bit further apart. Now, I know that you can always find a new camp area and just go into trees that are narrower. But there are times when you might go to, for our, my example, a state park, you pay for a campsite that you're gonna stay at, like we do here in Pennsylvania, and like the trees are just, what what's going on here? Like did they strategically plant these trees so they're so far apart that you can't set anything up? Um, in that case, utilize this, and it's gonna be a lifesaver. So as previously stated, here's the end of my ridge line, and I still gotta make it around this tree and tie off my trucker's hitch and everything else. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just bypass this line altogether, and I'm gonna pull out my second ridge line. Um, I usually carry three, so this is no problem whatsoever. Um, but if you don't carry a second or third ridge line for your setup, um, then just grab some extra twine, rope, um, bank line, whatever you have along with you, and um, start the setup the same as you would any other ridge line. So what we're gonna use is a bowline or bowline knot, depending on, I guess, where in the country you are um, from. And uh, we're gonna wrap that around the tree that we want it to go to. So I get this thing in place, and now this is when the magic happens. So I have my second line against the second tree, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out um, wherever I think I need to go with this thing, okay? Where I'd want that tree if I can magically pick it up and drop it. And I'm gonna take that line, and I personally, I like to tie a, a butterfly knot or a lineman knot. Um, I'll tag this down below in the comments. Um, I did a video on this, it's a really easy, quick knot to tie in the middle of a line um, and you end up with a nice loop that doesn't slide. But here's the really cool part with this. I don't have to go down the first line and tie off a trucker's hitch, I already have a loop. So all I need to do is tension my line really tight and then put that bite in it that holds it in place. And now my ridge line is done, it's that easy. So just one more time, um, a up close shot, we have our lineman knot or a butterfly loop here, and then I can tighten this line here, and then of course I could just put that bite in it like that. And what that's gonna do is lock this thing in place, and we're good to go. And there you have it folks, a very easy way to extend out the ridge line for your shelter if the trees just aren't in that perfect position that you have been looking for, a little bit further apart than you expected. Um, grab a second line, you can really easily do this. As long as you know your bowline knot and you know that um, a way to make a loop, okay? Now, like I said, I made that alpine butterfly loop, um, which again, link is below. But um, if you didn't know that, just make a loop that doesn't slip, and that is how you're gonna utilize that in order to attach the two, and um, you'll be good to go. So definitely a good tool for the toolbox, another way um, to get the job done when nature is not on your side. So this was Dan Wolak of Cold Cracker Bushcraft. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com, and until the next video, stay in the woods with your super long ridge lines. You can stretch this thing out for miles.